Located in Italy near the coast of the Mediterranean Sea sits an abandoned power plant on the edge of an enormous industrial site. The power plant was originally built in 1950 and was specifically built to generate power and electricity for a steel mill and its monster blast furnaces. The steel mill and its power plant were both located within the huge shoreline industrial site. The power plant, which was the primary focus of the Explorer, had nine separate turbines and happened to be the largest plant that any of us had ever explored before. Exploring the power plant gave us a look back at history from the height of the industrial boom long ago. The amount of decay was immense and a real sight to see as certainly the nearby salt water from the ocean had taken its toll on all the metal and steel, causing rust and corrosion throughout. The floor plan of the power plant was pretty much the same standard setup that we would see in America. The main floor held all nine turbines and many of their control mechanisms and valves. In the lower level, underneath the turbines, would have been where the boilers were located. Then upstairs was the main control room, which gave the plant workers a great overhead view of all the floor turbines and helped them keep an eye on production and the all too important role of worker safety. And finally, the roof of the power plant had a light blue skylight, which gave the whole interior a bluish hue color, which added a bit of mystical vibe to all the photographs. Big old tanks right here. And each turbine is different and unique, which is really cool. And you never see that. Not sure what this plastic area is. I just love that skylight kind of gives like a blue hue to it. Look at the inside of this turbine. That's really cool. And you can see over here, down there. Nuts. The power plant operated for nearly 50 years before it eventually closed in the mid-1990s. The plant closed when the steel mill built a brand new, more modern, and more energy efficient power plant, which still operates today in the same industrial site. During the hours long explore inside the power plant, we had a chance to reflect back to when a time when power plants ruled the world, as they were the primary source of all electricity. These days, many people don't even think twice and they take energy for granted when they turn on their lights or their TV. And although this specific power plant only provided electricity for the massive steel mill, it still provided us with insight into a different world because the way of the power plant was the way the world got its electricity. That's a monster turbine there. Look at all these valves. thing about this place all the decay 
Everywhere you look, there's stuff. And it's all rusted out and decayed. It's amazing. In more recent years, there has been a huge shift to more renewable sources of energy, such as hydroelectricity and wind farms. So many of the old power plants that at one time generated much of the world's electricity have since been closed down. And even with that fact, there are still more than 62,000 power plants in operation all across the world today. Super cool one, man. I love this place. This still has the graph paper in it. And then back over here inside, you can see the, all the old spools. Here's some more control panels over here. It's really odd because the control room, look at the siren up there. Alarm. Siren. This place doesn't really have a big control room like you would think. A lot of the controls are actually down here. I wish I could read some of that. Another control panel over there. There's control panels like on every wall. Instead of like one big control room. Control area up top of the turbine hall. You can actually see the turbine hall right over here. This is the control area. Pretty big. You can see most of the knobs are actually gone. Looks like they've been removed. Although this thing looks like it's glowing. It's just the reflection. The meters are still in here. And behind us, these are all gone. These are all pretty much scrapped out. Here's another little smaller control panel board here about half the size of that one down there. A little bit different. This one is super rusted out. Identifiers.
And there's the crane up there, the yellow thing. Controls there. That's a monster of a crane too. Franco Tosi. Look at that old hard hat sitting there. This control panel is just caked in grime, cobwebs. Look at that. Old hard hat there. Control panel there. And that will wrap up another video from Abandon Central. This power plant in Italy was an amazing location and truly an experience to have been a part of it. We want to thank everyone for watching and for more photos of the power plant and our many other locations, check out AbandonCentral.com. And make sure to subscribe to Abandon Central on YouTube so that you can get notifications when any of our new videos drop. Thank you again for all the support.